Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hardcore Italians podcast. I'm with the Hardcore Italian affiliate today, Adam Lupus. Adam, What's up, how you Mike? doing? Good, man. Thanks for being. Uh, thanks for bringing me on the uh, the podcast, man. I'm so excited. Yeah, no problem. So, Adam, I want to introduce you to the people on the podcast. One, because we kind of been working together on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, and we're probably going to see a little bit more of you through projects and with the podcast and things like that. But also, too, you're involved with a lot, man. Being an affiliate and then having the um. What do you hear? What do you say? Podcast, mm -hmm. having your own show, uh, have your own Italian hair company. <laughs> yeah. So you're involved in a lot, man. So I just think it's a little bit interesting and kind of wanted to shed some light on you and what you do. So, why, don't you, why don't you talk about yourself real quick for a bit? Yeah. So my name is Adam Lupus, as Mike uh, mentioned, and I'm 22 years old from Toronto, Canada. And uh, for anybody watching that's not from Canada, I'll try not to say A too much. And uh, I'll try to, I, I won't be like, oh, I'm from Canada, eh? I won't try to do that, but don't worry. And um, yeah, I've been, I, as Mike mentioned, I'm one of the affiliates of Hardcore Italians. And it's funny, me and Mike met through a good friend of ours, uh, Justin from uh, Mafia Chronicles. And me and Mike, we, we have so many things in common. And uh, it's it's been amazing being an affiliate for his amazing brand. Uh, it's too bad I couldn't wear one of his uh, shirts because they're all in the wash. That's how much I wear them. I wear them so often. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you must wear them all the time then, huh? All, every, every day, man. They're so comfortable. It's the, it's the best, man. So <laughs> other than other than that, yeah, I, um, I have my own show, The Up and Adam Show, which is just, I guess, bringing like the nostalgia of The Tonight Show back because that's what I love. I'm into all the 80s and 90s and stuff. And on top of that, I have a, uh, a, hair, a hair product brand. Uh, called Luna Grooming Co. So it's an Italian brand with my good friend, Matt Mena and my brother, Matthew Lupus. And uh, that's basically it. And then uh, other than that, just trying to stay busy. And uh, I mean, obviously with, with COVID, it's so hard to like do anything, but you know, we're, we're making the best out of it. That's it. Yeah, hundred percent. And I know we've been back and forth with a lot, how I was on your podcast too, when we first met and stuff like yeah. that. Now it's, and I did a couple with you and just how we work together with a lot of things. So yeah, it's cool. And your hair company too, man, shed some light on that. And what goes behind the products? Cause I know it's like super, what's the word? Like super thoughtful or thought through, you know? It, it is, it is. So like when, when we first started, it was actually, it was a whole different product. We, it was called a, it was like a matte clay. But it, I'll be honest, with you, it wasn't that good at first. And that's how it is for all brands. You start off something and it's not the best. You tweak it from there. Uh, packaging was a lot different. It was like in a smaller container and like it, in like a, a crappier tin. It wasn't the best. And we had like, we bought like 20 of them, sold, sold them out. And uh, actually, I think I still have one left. I, I don't even think we finished selling them all because they weren't that good. <laughs> and then we ended up, we ended up working with a very good manufacturer in Canada. Uh, and they they've been really really good um all premium quality products and we obviously don't use any parabens or like sulfates any of the bad chemicals in the product we try to keep it as a, not or it's hard to keep it very organic because sometimes when you do it so organic you kind of risk losing the um the actual um the durability of the product you know what i mean sometimes it could be so organic that it's not strong enough after or like it, it's missing things right so at the end of the day as long as there's no harmful products doesn't always have to be organic that's my mentality with it and uh, mm -hmm. i was a barber before so i've used many hair products and i find the one i have now uh the the new and improved luna paste is really good and i actually gave you that with the spray and yeah. uh, i actually want to hear your thoughts and how you thought it was to be honest i want to hear what you thought <laughs> dude i thought it was awesome like first of all you're an expert just like after you explained everything to me about the product, once I got it, I was like, wow, I, I never even realized all this went into hair. So yeah, no, no, cool. no one, no one, no one usually does. And that's the thing. That's why I wanted to make this product because I really, dude, even myself, I was a barber and I can't even, I can't even style my hair sometimes. And I kind of forget, um, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know what's good sometimes. So I thought, you know, I've used so many hair products on clients. I know what clients like, I know what I like, let's make something good. Right. So I think that's what it came down to because Again, dude, it, it, I just want to educate people how to style their hair too. So even when I gave you that voice memo, I was like, you know, use it like as a pre style, then use the paste, blow dry. And you're like, Adam, what the hell are you talking about, man? Like, <laughs> I didn't know anything about this. So that's what I kind of wanted to do because no one really does know how to style their hair, unfortunately. And they all rely on a good haircut when in reality, a, a haircut can, you know, last you, but you need a good product at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, so. true. I'm just used to like, turn it on the sink, put my hand, <laughs> put my hand under the sink and just throw that's one it. little slick back and that's it. Yeah. So it feels good to like put stuff in and actually like I, I, do it right. I, I used you to know? use Dippity Doo, man. You know what product Dippity Doo? No, what's that? 
it's or like or like got to be it's one of those like oh yeah got to be me. glued and stuff like that yeah, yeah terrible man yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> i said back in the day all the like the the cast from jersey shore definitely used got to be probably <laughs> do the, probably do the blow up his, his hair's not moving man it's oh just yeah he definitely yeah he probably is on the gotta be huh because you're well, right my girlfriend like, I, yeah my girlfriend like are actually watching were we were we watching Jersey Shore and it was funny the first episode he was like I never go anywhere and I'll do, I'll try to do the best Jersey accent ever so don't don't judge me but he's like I never go anywhere without my head gel I won't go I won't go to I won't go to Jersey Shore without my head gel and he's like packing a full suitcase with hair gel <laughs> was it got to be glued did it show it or no I don't know I think it was like censored I'll, I don't know it was oh, the first okay. episode so they're probably like it, was, it, it looked so like sketchy the first episode but who knows? <laughs> yeah true but you know, those old Jersey Shore ones are entertaining to say the least man you know oh, yeah the best. <laughs> But um, I, mean, I like what you said too, just like how you're not afraid to admit the first product didn't come out exactly how you <clears> liked and, you know, who cares? You kept moving on, kept doing it. Yeah. And I know you like perfected it. The name's awesome. You know, Luma I appreciate Luma. that. <laughs> I love the name. That was like the first thing I was like, wow, that's cool. Like I would buy just for the name, even if I didn't know all the extra stuff. So it's funny. Well, yeah. yeah, it's it's funny. The, the name is the first half of my last name. So Lupus, so Lou. And then um, my friend, the, the guy I'm partnered with, is that his last name is Mena. So we use the two N-A. So it's Lupin. So Luna. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Little play on words. And it's funny because I got a wolf tattoo. And it happens to be <laughs> that Luna with the wolves. It just happened to work out so well. You know what I mean? Yeah, it all fell into place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> no, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's why I want to shed some light on it. I just thought that's a cool thing you, you do, you know. I appreciate out of your many different things that you're involved with. I don't know where you find the time, man. <laughs> I, I just try to stay organized, man. I, you know, it's, uh, I, I'll be honest. I, like, it's a little hard sometimes and I've been neglecting so, like here and there. I neglect some things and I go back to it. Like, I'll be honest. There was a time for at least a month. I didn't do anything for, for Luna because I was so busy with the show. And then there was a point like back in the summer last year, I was taking a break from the up and Adam show, just doing the, what do you hear? What do you say? Podcast strict, like, like really religiously just making content, posting, and then it's like, now I'm just trying to find a balance. I'm trying to make everything organized. I think next month I'm really going to have a really good schedule where it's like, I dedicate X amount of hours doing this. And then I can just put my, put my phone away at night and just relax because mm -hmm. like, you know, and I feel bad. Like, you know, if I see my girlfriend, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be on my phone and shit. You know what I mean? I want to make sure I spend time with people. So yeah, you know, yeah, and, yeah. and dude, my, yeah, Mike, you're, you're a guy of many things too. You do a lot of cool things and Trust me, it's funny. You say that. It's funny how I can't find the time. I don't know how you find the time, man. You do <laughs> yeah, way really more things yeah. than I do. And you, you do amazing. That you're involved in so many great things. And uh, in a way, you inspire me. So that's why, like, you know, you, you do a lot of cool Thank stuff. Man. Thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, I just tried. It's just, you know, when you're running a business, you're involved in every part of the business. Then you're responsible yeah. for jobs within that business that people aren't necessarily running yet. Mm -hmm. Then, I don't know, what you said is huge, too. Just, like... You got to have a work-life balance, dude. You can't. And I I love hardcore. I could work on hardcore 24 hours a day easy, but you just can't do it. You got to take the time, you know, and uh, spend time with your family, spend time with your girlfriend, things like that. You just yeah. got to have a little bit of balance. Life's all not about work. You know what I'm saying? So no, 100%. And that's, that's the Italian way, too. They don't do that in Italy. They take breaks. <laughs> you know, it's... They think, I was talking with my girlfriend about this, like, literally two days ago. We were like... You know, in Italy, it's like, it's so nice and beautiful, but like, man, to live there, it's not a place to live, man. Like, unfortunately, like for people our age that like want to want to work and actually want to build stuff like over there, man, it's so easy going, which is not to say that like we shouldn't live there because it's a beautiful place. But again, the reason why they come here is because better opportunities and, you know, it's to make money. It's a lot easier. Not sorry. I shouldn't say it's easier here, but it's, it's more opportunity here, I would say. Yeah, but, exactly. I, I know some people would disagree. Yeah, no, and that's like, that's kind of why one of the reasons we celebrate being Italian American is we feel like we got the best of both. You know what I mean? You take the yeah. good parts with being Italian, take the good parts with being American, and it's a pretty good mix, <laughs> you know? Oh, so, of course. The, the, you got to take the breaks, you got to relax, you know what I mean? So, it's just good to take that part of being Italian and integrate it with your life. You can't always be on the go. So, that's one huge thing I learned is you got to have a balance. Yeah, well, dude, they, they enjoy life over there, man. Like, I, I think that that's the thing. It's like two ends of the spectrum over there. It's all relax, enjoy the world, enjoy life. And then here, it's like, you know what? Listen, I, I think you talked about this on a hardcore podcast, but like the life expectancy of Italians is like yeah. pretty old, right? And why do yeah. you think that? Because again, going back, it's so leisurely, right? But Italians here, especially in North America, we don't live that long because- we're always, we're always stressed. 
We're always, I mean, the, the, our diets are the same pretty yeah. much, but obviously a lot uh, of things the, here, you know? Yeah. I mean, the food, I mean, they're eating better food, just, you know what I mean? It's fresher, more, things like fre- that. Fre- yeah, more fresh, everything. Here they it's- take, yeah, they, they take breaks or less stress. They go on walks. Yeah. So there's a few factors for sure, but yeah, I know what you mean. It's uh, stress is definitely, it doesn't do the body good, you know? No, not at all, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I kind of want to get into your Italian background too. And just um, all that, because you kind of do. You're involved with us. You're involved with um, the What Do You Hear, What Do You Say podcast, which you talk about like Sopranos and all the mafia movies and all like those yeah. Italian type of movies. Then you got Luna Groom and Company, which is kind of Italian just based on the name and things like that. So kind of how'd you start getting into, because from what it sounds like, you always tell me you're not, your family doesn't like do certain things that you think regular Italians do and stuff yeah. like that. So that's kind of where I'm trying to figure out how you got into it you know yeah so you're saying like why a lot of my things revolve around the italian community yeah yeah so yeah yeah it's funny like (laughs) it's a funny story so my my me my siblings all of our names are not italian at all my first and middle name is adam alexander they couldn't even throw in the alessandro they gave me the alexander (laughs) my brothers is matthew johnson and my sister's nicole stephanie you know what i mean so there's no there's no italian in it and it's like I don't know, like even my parents, like they never spoke to us Italian growing up, nothing. So I, I can't speak or understand it. Obviously, just the bad words I know. So uh, <laughs> I've been I've been bugging my girlfriend to teach me. Hey, babe, you gotta <laughs> teach me over there. Bro, what do I pay you? What do I pay you for? <laughs> you pay your girlfriend, so, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just mess yeah, up yeah. with you. <laughs> I didn't sell it. I don't pay it well enough. But uh, no, but uh, yeah. So the things I do that revolve around Italian stuff is because I think that's the reason why. Because I didn't grow up that Italian, that in touch with it. Some things, you know, we we made Italian you know, t- tomato sauce growing up almost every year. I think that was the reason why. I, I guess it's just in me, man. I think it goes back to my like. It's hard to explain. Maybe because I didn't experience it growing up, I wanted to kind of make it my own after you know especially with luna like it's italian like i'm proud to be an italian right and it, it's a sh- again it's a shame that i haven't been to italy often only been once i can't speak the language i haven't embraced a lot of the traditions but i still think in the back of my head i am italian i should embrace it. i love my culture I, I grew up watching uh you know soccer as well you know not now anymore but i think that was the reason i think i just wanted to be more in touch with my italian culture yeah that's awesome and that's like something we encourage everybody to do even if it's you know, if you're 1% Italian or not Italian at all, and you want to get into, it's just good to learn about your background, your history, and you kind of feel more connected with who you are. So I always encourage that with everybody, you know, and um, I don't know, at the end of the day, like a lot of people just kind of how generations go by, they don't pick up the language and things like that. But in my opinion, you got some of the most important traits, man. You're just a nice guy. You're loyal, you're respectful. Like those are all Thank you, man. huge things that come with being Italian that like, it's the values, you know what I'm saying? And you got good values. Yeah, I, I that's it. like, that's something that I think is like what you got in you, <laughs> you know, I, I think it's well, it's good. You said that that that's actually and I appreciate the same with you, man. That's why we yeah, get along okay. with the friends. But that's I think the reason I, I, I don't think necessarily, it's, you know, to be an Italian, what does that mean? Right? Like people just think, Oh, you gotta make the sauce, you gotta make the wine. I just but it's what you said it's about the values, right? We have that's why I think I'm I, I embrace being Italian more than being Canadian, right? Because even though I love my country, I love where I'm from. I'm very grateful to be here. It's, 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 uh, you know, I'm proud to be an Italian. Like I said, because it's my, my parents, they, they grew up very Italian. And I think the way they raised us, even little things like being very strict on like, you know, coming home at a certain time or busting your balls, calling you, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Or like <laughs> the, the little things, you know what I mean? That they, that they teach you. And I think that it's like reinforced in our brain now. And it's kind of like altered us to think a certain way, which is a good thing, right? They've raised us properly. Uh, and not to say exactly. that other cultures don't, but I just think that's why, you know, even people who are not Italian, right? They can, the reason why they they pre- appreciate our culture and where we're from is because we have these certain values, like you mentioned. Yeah, exactly. And it's like, I feel like you can't deny that kind of stuff, you know, like it's a part of you. Yeah. And it's good to learn about because when you learn about it, it make you know who you are. Like you just appreciate like who you are a lot more once you kind of can dig into that background and understand, like, like you said, if your parents are strict with this and strict with that, like it comes because of this and that, and it just makes you understand everything, your family. You understand life, as a, in the whole spectrum, like why, like how they were growing up, like, like 
you know, I'm sure you're the same way when you were younger in high school, if you went over your friends, your parents would be calling you, calling you, calling you nonstop. Like, Where are you? Come home a certain time. I told you 12 o'clock, right? Like, yeah. and then you make you think like, guys, how did you, you know, I, I always, I always tell my parents this, like, you know, when you were a kid, how was it for you? They go, I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. So it's like, I think we learn off like every generation, you, they, they take the good and they eliminate the bad, you know, like even me, like, yeah. I mean, I, I can't, at the top of my head, I can't think of anything bad that my parents have done. I'm saying, but like, um, or I think I would change, but I know that when I have kids, I'm going to try to make them learn Italian and get more in touch with the culture, really embrace that. Because again, like I didn't really do it much. So yeah. again, you take, take the good and then, you know, you add a little more, you take away something. So it's a mix of both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel you. So you mentioned soccer earlier. What, uh, you used to watch soccer a lot. You got a favorite team or what? Juve, man, Juventus. But but listen, before <laughs> I, I'm 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 gonna say you're the same way, right? Yeah, I like yeah, I, I like them too. I don't really watch much. That's the problem. I don't. You know, I yeah. I, I got to get back into it. Yeah, I don't watch them as much either. Like, I'm way more of a FIFA player than I am a I used <laughs> watching to, the games. I, <laughs> Ultimate Team, that was my thing, man. Ultimate Team. I spent so much freaking money on that shit, and I, on top of that, especially with soccer. Yeah, those, I, like, I, you can go broke with ultimate team for sure. I've seen you people mean, do it. You want to hear a funny story, man? When I was uh grade eight, okay, I was like 13. I had a dream. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna be a professional soccer player. I'm gonna do it, right? I was playing house league. I, I was like, I was like the top scorer. I was really good, right? No, wow. I tried it off for rep four times and I failed four times. The the stupid coach didn't even shake my hand out. He, he didn't even go like, thanks for coming out. Nothing. He goes, you know, I, oh Adam, you wasted my time. My brother got so pissed. He went there after he was like, he's like, you, know, you better shake my brother's hand. And he got really mad. And guess what? That goes back to the Italian traditions. You don't, you don't mess with Italians, man. <laughs> especially, especially family. Family is everything for Italians, you know? Oh, yeah. I know. They'll stick up for you tooth and nail. They're the only ones who could fuck with you. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. 100%, <laughs> dude. Yeah. And, and before you go on, okay, this, I, want, I want to do a little, see if you understand this. What, what year do you think this is from? What, Pay close you, attention to the stars. Oh, the stars. <laughs> What you told hell? me, but you told me before we went on, bro. There you go. Oh, I did. I did. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, you Who's said it's the... 2002. Yeah. Okay. Who do you think is at the back? Guess what, it, has, the back. it has three stars. It has three stars. Yeah. Yeah. So, who do you think is the, who thinks at the back? I don't know who you got. Let's see. Nesta. Yeah. <laughs> nice, bro. I, I need to get some more jerseys, man. All I have is a Juve one, but. I want a Team Italy one. Or actually, I think I do have a Team Italy one, but it's old. I got to update my stuff, man. I can, I, I can hook you up if you want. I, some of my, of my friends, they have a um, a jersey company. So. Oh, really? I, yeah, yeah. If you ever want, like, good, like, I can get you, like, things for, like, for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me more about the uh, What Do You Hear, What Do You Say podcast. Like, how'd you get into that? What do you guys talk about? Yeah, so that podcast, it was good because, um, so, so, again, no, another funny story. Not really that funny, but just interesting. When I so Justin from Off Your Chronicles is obviously you know you know him, but for people who don't know, he runs uh, the greatest mob page out there, and he's such a great guy. And I, I was following his page for like three years prior to I started the Up and Adam show and stuff, and um, I I wanted him on my show, so he came on as a guest. We just talked about everything, and I grew up watching mob movies. I haven't I didn't see all of them at the time, but I watched like obviously Godfather, Goodfellas, um, Scarface, like you know like the classics and stuff, right? Yeah. And Sopranos, of course. Um, and uh, besides that, it, it so you know, I, I Justin just I, I eventually mentioned he goes, Yeah, like one day I was hoping to start my own podcast. Then I thought to myself, and like you know me for my mind running a mile a minute, I have all these ideas. Yeah. I'm like, Justin, like, why don't we create a, a podcast? I'm like, you know, you like, why not? Like, we, we yeah, both love mom movies, cool. it'd be cool. So we ended up starting it, and I think the biggest hurdle for us was getting the logo and the name. It took us over a month to get that right. And Justin's actually the one who came up with the name. Oh, and wow. Pretty, I didn't know it took a month. Yeah, it took about a month. And it was pretty cool because the logo, for people who don't know it, it's uh, so the name itself and the logo, that's Polly Walnuts from The Sopranos. The what do you hear? What do you say? Yeah. And every time I try to make a, a little video for the page, I always do. I go, what do you hear? What do you say? And that little like <laughs> yeah, yeah. duck voice. That's how Polly <laughs> talks, right? So yeah, we, we basically just talk about mom movies. Um, we're like, we try to post as consistent as we can, but uh, we do about like an episode a month, an episode a month, a month and a little bit. And it's right. tough because we got to really watch and really dig deep with these movies. Because in that community, Mike, it's it's really, really like you mess up one thing, they're on your ass. It's the same thing with your page, with Italian <laughs> stuff. If you post yeah. one bad thing, they're on your ass. And I noticed that on your page when you posted 
from friends was it chandler or something and it was like the guy's not italian and people are like he's not even italian this that. and i'm thinking in my head like are people stupid but like there's a, there's a, a little bit there's a little bit of italian in everybody you know what i mean yeah well stuff like that like we know some of the characters aren't italian or whatever of course yeah and Here's the thing, like, you, there's only so many photos you could use of people who are Italian that just want, like, that don't either don't care for, for the photo to be used or that are, like, free to use or whatever. So sometimes you want to mix up the post. You want to post Tony Soprano every week, <laughs> you know, and you want to show some other people or whatever. But, yeah, it's something – I don't know if people are just used to it with our page, like, always posting Italian people or Italian-looking people because I kind of notice other ethnic pages, they'll post literally any – race or ethnicity whatever and no one ever says anything like they don't care you know yeah but everyone's with ours everyone's, yeah everyone's so strict about it it's like it's like that's the whole point of the page you're, you're supposed to bring light to this community you're not like well, i don't know all these people are trying to like start problems are so stupid i saw that it pissed me off i think i commented to somebody i'm like dude like get a life man like, I, I was <laughs> so pissed yeah exactly so it's like i don't know we kind of uh we kind of just tested that one out to see if like people would say it and we yeah we had a feeling they were gonna and they did so it was like i don't know why we even tried but so a lot of people do appreciate it i actually did a story post like because i did a few of them and i noticed it over and over and i i actually did a story post uh a poll and mm. i said do you care if everyone is italian all the memes? i saw you post that yeah. yeah and um actually like the majority of them said no they don't care so it's it's just like the few people who have to like say it. I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's all right. They like, some people don't like seeing it. Yeah, you know. can't, you can't win them all. Right. The some they're going to hate. Yeah. Or I, maybe they think we don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but um, it is kind of funny, but give me an example of what, uh, what do you mean with the mafia movies and, and shows like that? What's. Oh yeah. Some, so has that happened with you? Like a similar thing or is it? Yeah. Just... It, well, yeah it happened. It happened today. I posted. Today? Oh, sorry. Yesterday, it happened yesterday. I posted a photo of Robert De Niro as Al Capone because we're doing the Untouchables next, right? And I was like, it was just like, it's the, it was so funny because the way the guy said it, like, could have been nice about it. It could have just been one word response. So I wrote in the caption, um, where does Robert De Niro's portrayal of Al Capone rank for you in, in his movies, right? Like, someone wrote, someone just wrote terrible. I'm like, yeah. Like, what the fuck? Like, really terrible. Like, you have one word to say. I'm like, this guy probably didn't watch the movies. such a cafone. I'm like, All right, really? terrible <laughs> thanks bro why why is it if you wrote if you gave me an explanation it would have made sense terrible okay i didn't even like the comment i didn't re just reply to him people <laughs> like that you just gotta laugh yeah no i feel you. there's always gonna be people especially like as your podcast keeps picking up and stuff i saw um what's the podcast with michael imperioli and what's yeah, the other guy's name sopranos, yes yeah talking sopranos yeah. yeah 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 i saw they gave you a shout out right what what do they say again yeah they were so they were talking they were talking um uh I'm going to call them Bobby and Christopher because, you know, to make it more fun. But Bobby was just talking like well, about a scene, the scene when Polly comes home from prison and he says the the line, what do you hear? What do you say? Right. And the scene is so cool. Like everyone's just at the bottom being the bar and you see Polly walk in and what do you hear? What do you say? I was like, ah, I was clapping and shit. And then uh, Michael Imperial is like, there's also a podcast called What Do You Hear? What Do You Say? It's uh, Justin and Adam. They do it. I think it's about mob movies and mob folklore and stuff. It was so funny. Man. Awesome. <laughs> I know. That's awesome, dude. I bet you guys were like freaking out when that, Justin told <laughs> when me that aired. Like, it was like midnight when we found out. It was like yeah, how'd you guys find out? So uh, one of our followers actually commented. He goes uh, oh. on, a random, on a random post. Like, you were featured on Talking Sopranos. I go, get the hell out of here. And I told Justin about that. And then Justin found it miraculously because I couldn't find it for the life of me. Did some digging, yeah. Yeah, he went, Justin goes in, man. Yeah, because like, they do I a lot of episodes it. and they're long episodes, so. Yeah, like, I'm like, I'm like <laughs> Justin, I, even I was like, Justin, how'd you do this? Like, what are you, David Blaine? Like, how'd you, what is it? You pull it out of your ass? How'd you find this thing? <laughs> that was pretty funny. But yeah, um, it's just crazy, man. But like, I, again, going, going back to the pages and stuff too, um, you have so many pages. Like it, we were talking about mine, how I, I have the Up and Adam show, Luna, and, and uh, what do you hear? What do you say? But you, with hardcore, you have like hardcore podcasts, hardcore talents, uh, hard um, uh, sing Italian was yeah. the music one, and it's yeah. cool because I got here. Was old blue eyes, you know? <laughs> Damn Mark's the old school album with Sinatra. Yeah, and uh, you guys post them a lot. I know you guys are you guys are big fans of Sinatra, right? Oh yeah, I love them, dude. He's he's the best, man. He's the, the best. best. So you like Sinatra over Dean Martin? 
Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. Sorry to piss people off. I love Frank Sinatra. Yeah. yeah. So he's your guy all the way, huh? For me, I go yeah. back and forth. Sometimes I'm feeling Dean. Sometimes I'm feeling Sinatra. I don't know. It's, it's tough, man. They're both legends, you know. They're, they're both good. Yeah. Even uh, who else is really good too? Um, who's other Tony guy? Bennett. Tony. Who? Yeah. There's another guy you po- was it Tony Bennett? He, uh, he has, he has the Alzheimer's now. I think he was diagnosed with it recently. Is that Tony Bennett? Yeah. I think it is, but I don't want to say if he. Yeah, if it I is forgot. You, knowing, you, posted you, know? it, you posted on, on your on your um on your page. Yeah, it was a while ago. That's why I, I, I I'm pretty know, sure it was him. But yeah, but even like um, I like Eros, man. Eros Ramazzotti, I like him. Who loves him? My girlfriend's mom loves him. He's he's like one of the best. Even um, for Italian singers, I like thing. I would say uh, Gigi D'Alessio too, mm-hmm. and Lucio Dalla. Do you know those people too? Not all of them, no, but. I'll look him up. Send me, send me some links. You know? I'll send you the Lucho Dalla is really good. I don't know. He's just has a unique voice and the style is very like, it's more hip, but it's very old school too. So it's good. Mm-hmm. When do you play Sinatra? Just in the house? Just when you're driving? Yeah. Family parties? Driving when you're in the shower. gym lifting? <laughs> What's... Every, every, whenever I can, whenever I can play him, I play him. Yeah. I do it what... everywhere I can, but I, I definitely like to, um, I, I definitely play in the car, man. I sing in the car, so. <laughs> What's your favorite Sinatra song? Oh, I got a couple. I like, um, I like All the Way. I like You Make Me Feel So Young. I like I Got the World on a String. I like, um, yeah, what was that one I just put today? Right, right here. I got one right here. It's called Nice and Easy, My Kind of Town, Summer Wind, The Best is Yet to Come. Still have a name, so my many. favorite. You know what, though? Michael Bublé is probably the closest person. To, like, I, I love Michael Bublé. I think he's, like, he's the only guy, in my opinion, who can, like, reincarnate those songs. Yeah, no, he's good. He's part Italian, too, believe it or not. Yeah, he is. Yeah, and um, Sal the Voice, too, if you ever listen to Sal the Voice, he he's bringing it back, too. He's, he's Sal's good. good. Even uh, Robert Davi's good, mm-hmm. too. They're all they're all great, man. And uh, the, the reason why I say uh, Michael Bublé, because he was, like, one of the first people to kind of start doing that, really, to bring it back. But then, yeah, Sal, unbelievable, man. That guy uh, from America's Got Talent, great, mm-hmm. man. Great voice. Yeah, man. but um, you didn't name my favorite song, bro, My Way. Oh, that's your favorite? <laughs> yeah, that's my favorite. Sinatra I forgot about for that. Sure. Yeah, I know a couple of people, Don and Elvis and stuff like that, but I don't know, man. Sinatra oh, that's kills on, it. Yeah, it's it's um, it's um, on my playlist, too, but it's so down the line. I, I, I put it back so far ago, but really good, man. He has so many classics. How can you go wrong? Every song's a, a, a hit. Yeah. Oh, hundred percent, dude. It's, you could throw it on and you can't go wrong, you know? Oh yeah, of course. So one of the last things I wanted to ask you about is just your show up in Adam's show, because you've got an Italian guest on there too. Brothers from Brooklyn, Lilo from Bronx Tale and um, Sopranos. He was in a bit. Mm-hmm. What's it like getting some, uh, some Italians on there? What do you learn about those people who come on? Do they relate in any way or? Yeah, it's interesting. Like lately I've been talking to a lot of Italian people for some reason, just Happen to work out like that. Like Robert Davi was one recently. Uh, Sal's gonna be one. Uh, Big time Tommy is gonna be one. Oh, I love him too. Yeah. That's just funny. All the Italians coming on, right? But it's it's um what I'm learning about each person is that um what what lies be- what lies beneath all the Italian stuff too, right? Like again, we talked about what you mentioned about having these certain uh values that italians have right but i'll give you an example like a guy like big time tommy right a guy like him i relate to him a lot and i use this to t- to tell him like why you should come on my show is because he's big on the old school way right so i'm you know me man i love retro things my whole show revolves <laughs> yeah that. he's a good one for you for sure yeah so it's like i'm, I'm old noticing, school yeah i'm noticing that like because there's different listen just because it, 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 being italian is very broad right so it's like you can be italian but have an old soul you can be italian and like music like uh sfera e basta or capo plaza people like that like that type of italian rap or like the new type of stuff or it could be an italian like i just mentioned who likes sinatra like who can wear the the sylvester stallone rocky hat you know and walk around with a leather jacket right but yeah uh it's just talking to these people i've learned like what what's beneath all that you know mm-hmm. i guess because it's like me like for example a lot of people don't even know i'm italian because of my last name you know yeah. and when i talk to them and then i guess the italian stuff just comes about in the conversation kind of like how we're doing right it just naturally comes out because again it's like you mentioned you can't hide it it's who i am so you know that's how i'm learning about people even if they want to hide it they can't and it, it naturally just comes out in conversation yeah i feel you no that's awesome man so looking forward to big time time when you got big time tommy coming on do you have a date yet or he i'm supposed to record them sometime next week but um 
I'm releasing it like in mid in late June. Everyone's yeah. got to be on the lookout for that. That'll be awesome. Yeah, and, and dude, I'm I'm gonna tell him to come on the hardcore podcast, man. Like, is it he, that guy's got you got to talk to him about his Italian stuff because. <laughs> especially where he's from, man. He, he has a lot of cool things probably. And, uh, you know, he, he's been around for a while. So he definitely has, uh, some cool stories about Italian culture and everything. So Tommy, yeah. if you're watching this, you got to come on the hardcore podcast, best yeah. podcast, dude. Yeah. Tommy, come on. <laughs> yeah, no, hopefully, uh, we definitely would love to have him on though. And hopefully we get a lot of guests soon coming up, you know, Absolutely, so, man. Hey man, looking forward to everything you got coming up. Um, great job of what they're doing with everything. Keep hustling, Thank man. You. Hopefully Same some people you, check you out. And, uh, I, I think whoever, whoever does just know I'm a quirky, weird guy, but that's who I am. And I just like that one. <laughs> where, uh, where should we look you up and how can we find you? YouTube, Instagram, so, what's your yeah, uh, so socials? Instagram, yeah. The, uh, the up and Adam show on Instagram, no spaces, no capitals, YouTube, same thing, but with YouTube, it's uh, the and symbol and, um, that's it. I don't have another social, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it guys. Adam, thanks so much for coming on. It was a pleasure talking with you. It was a pleasure being on the show and thank you very much for having me as always just to chat with you. It's a pleasure. So thanks, man.